shit, Fatiana. Fatiana. Fat cheeks on my face, Pacquiana. Pacquiana. I want some chips with some dip, Reggiana. Please. Please. Step to the barbecue, what a meat. Motherfucker need a slab and some mac and cheese. Pacchi. Hello, guys. Oh, my God. Why am I going to do the intro to the outside of Shannon? <laughs> oh, my God, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, it's you, oh, yes, it's we. It's us, it's a must that they got to see. It's me, it's you, oh, yes, it's we. Get back, sit back in love with me. Me. <laughs> I really don't even know why I came up with that. You could be in the video. You don't have to sit up and be weird. I don't like when people be weird when other people recording their videos. Don't be weird. They be like, yeah. They can't even see you. You can't even see them. But we see each other. But now, y'all, welcome back to my channel. You already know I'm back with the food. Y'all already know. So this right here, I think I came to Moe's Southwest Grill. I am still outside of Moe's, y'all. And I got some nachos. I got the veggie nachos, though. I got beans, mushrooms, cucumbers, lettuce, and queso. So this is not your ordinary healthy meal. Uh, I should have got sour cream on the side because I like that too. Mm. And Gates is with me and he got a steak bone. My I was like, oh, that steak good. How the hell I know? I don't know. This is what it looked like. I want to try with the mushrooms. I hope this wasn't a bad idea. Just said mushrooms. But y'all seen that title, so I already know why y'all came over here. Y'all already know y'all knows it. And I know y'all love my story times because I love them too. I be watching me too. <laughs> Trust God. Would you please? Uh, so, okay. So, a lot of people be like, oh my God, I want to know your first time with a guy. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad with the mushrooms. Oh, you make it? Yeah. Fresh. It's not bad with the mushrooms, y'all. And then the cucumbers give it like a little burst of freshness, like. I don't know. I just, I like it. I like it. Look at it be like, you nasty as hell. That's some nasty shit. <laughs> but now, nah, y'all. Okay, so I get questions like, oh my God, your first time with a guy. Then I get questions like, oh my God, um, what made you go gay? Then I get questions like, oh my God, can you just tell us story times about your whole lit life? Point blank period. My life didn't get lit, y'all, until college, really. That's really when your life gonna get lit. Out of high school, mm. that's when your um, you know, like gonna get lit. Well, you know, these high schools now they like already lit, so maybe out of middle school. <laughs> but I was like, so why not just tell y'all? So I'm gonna tell y'all story time about my first time with a guy. Oh my god, y'all, I was so scared. Like I was so scared. Like. Oh my god. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Where do we go at? Like, what if I stink? What if he don't like how I look? <laughs> you know, all, all this shit was going through my mind. Like, like, no, like. I was really more so concerned about what the boy would think of me. I'm already plus size. You know, at that time, they'd be like fat. I'm already fat, so it's like... <laughs> I'm worried about what this man finna say. But it's like, I know me and him been rocking and talking for quite some time now, type-ish. But it's also been on the low. You know how I go when you that big girl. 
And it's sad. It shouldn't go like that, but... Gays, do you ever see the boys talking to big girls in, in high school? Do you ever see them, like, being couple goals in the yearbook and all that, saying that they just miss homecoming queen, all that? Mm -hmm. I don't see that, and it's some raw-ass big girls that's in high school right now. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's shitting on a lot of these other girls who they, everybody just putting on the pedestal. You know, so it's like, I was like, damn, you know, I'm already battling that. Okay. I got a man with this man, man. Come on, fuck. <laughs> with a bang, bang, bang. Up my ass. Mm-mm. It's all right, man. What is it with anything? Y'all, I don't remember what month it was. But I remember exactly where it was at. It was at his mama's house. And it was in his room, of course. My y'all, his room was the garage. So, you know, I thought that was just so lit and so cute. Because he just in the whole other side of the house. It's so lit. It's a vibe. He got his own little door or whatever. I just thought he was doing his damn thing. <laughs> so, I'm not walking around. You know, I'm like, hey. <laughs> Sitting on the bed like, okay. We're going to make the first move. What we going to do? I don't know what to do. And I'm sure this ain't his first time. So it was like a, what the hell do I do? So, how have it happened, y'all? Because it was so long ago. How have it happened? I ended up in his bed. <laughs> you want know you ended up in his bed. Mm hmm Which one your back on your side? My back. Mm -hmm. I ended up in his bed. Mm -hmm. He got a lot of cheese in his booty. I know his drawers, man. They don't even look fresh. I know people be feeling that. Little bit made me mad when she do that too. Like little bit of walk around, I can't feel cheese in her booty. I be like, nah, girl, I know you feel that. She must have had a lot of cheese. Hmm. <laughs> no, but ended up in his bed on my bed. You know, I was like, keep the lights off. I don't want the light on. Nope, I don't want the light on. I'm already under the cover, taking my clothes off under the cover. Nah, mind you, I wish I had the confidence I had right now because I would have just took my shit off like it was now. Like, boy, come on, get this pussy. Let's go. I'm ready to go. I wish, I don't know, so I'm like, Real conservative, trying to hide stuff, trying to just, like, not do the most. Praying to God it ain't got to pee because I don't want to re-wipe off. It's like, a, oh, my God. Like, so much stuff was going through my mind. Like, you know how you be nervous and then you get the bubble guts? Oh, my God. That is the worst. Right. I remember on my first date, I had the bubble guts, y'all. It was so embarrassing. I've been on a date. <laughs> it was so embarrassing, y'all. But, so... You know, he started kissing me. And he got on top of me. And then, like, he did go in and out of me a couple times. And I was like, uh-uh, these out on the corner. Yes, bitch! Y'all, I was so freaking nervous and worried about what he thinking. I ain't even thinking about protection. So please don't make the same mistake I made if you already haven't did it or if you did do it. Most of them got kids, so they already made the mistake. No problem. No, no, oh, oh, I'm one of them. So, I was like, do you have a rubber? So, he don't put on the rubber. And this is before I knew about pre cum. Like, what the hell? I didn't know I can get pregnant off that. Oh, yeah, you can. Y'all. Literally. And especially if you fertile. Mm. Good. You was Bitch, fertile. I ended up pregnant after my first time losing my virginity. Oh. I ended up pregnant. But it like, ain't gonna lie, like, it felt so like, it didn't feel really like nothing. You know how as a grown woman, you know how you want your body to feel? So when you a jit and you doing that, your body is still developing, I feel like, up until you're 21. So it's like, you still really don't even know what to do. You probably don't even know how to fuck. 
You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you don't know if it really feels good or not because you so nervous about doing it, you really nervous about what the dude think. Did he like it? How he felt about it? That'd be me. I'd be like, you know what I'm saying? Did I do my thing or do I have right. to come back and do it again? Do it I ain't again. coming back and doing it again. I don't know. I'm my man. I ain't coming back and doing it again. But y'all. You ever wanted to like report somebody to let them know like. I got you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Plenty bitches. Plenty hoes. Cause like, I didn't know what I was doing in the first. <laughs> Plenty bitches. Come back around real quick. What? <laughs> I will fold them hoes. Like, bitch. What not? Uh, yeah. But. So. You know, after he put the rubber on the stuff, I ended up going home, y'all. I ain't hear from that boy no more. It was bad. No, it wasn't that. I ain't hear from him no more. It was just like a. Can't pass. I smashed, I'm gone. That was that. Of course, I felt like shit. Who not gonna feel like shit? Like, but life goes on, so don't beat yourself up about it. Cause your pussy could turn into a bitch like me one day. A boss bitch, a bad bitch. So, don't beat yourself up about it, but I did hate the fact that he ain't hit me up no more. So then, a couple weeks done passed by, maybe like three, four weeks. Almost a month. Well, maybe a month. I find out I'm pregnant. I call him, nigga. And I tell him. And he was like, what you telling me for? So at that point, you know, I knew. I was like, okay, I already know what I'm dealing with. Like, So, you know. I don't need to get into the story because I already told that about my high me being pregnant in high school. So if you want to know full details on it, y'all can always go back to that video. Mm, it is recent on my channel where I do get more in depth with it because it is emotional. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the child is not here. I had an abortion. And, you know, it's something that I do think about from time to time because I was still young. I was 18. My people didn't know I was four or five months pregnant walking across the stage. When I graduated high school, I was pregnant. But because I was big, you could you really couldn't tell. So, you know, but like I told y'all, you want to know more about what happened and why the baby not here, you're going to have to go watch that video. But long story short, that's how I lost my virginity with my, with that boy slash my ex baby daddy. Mm. Come on, son. It was so good. Fuck it up, fuck it up. Fuck it up. Okay, what is that? Mm. Mm -hmm. That one like that one tastes like the pigment style one. You know? Mm -mm. That was good, but that liberty creeps. But yeah, I told you that liberty creeps. Yes. But yeah, y'all. That's just to get a little more personal with me and how my first time with a guy. Um, I remember the guy. I still exactly know what his mama said to this day. If she still got the same house, like y'all know everything. Cause it was more than just that, but you know how it is when niggas act like it ain't more than just that. But whatever. But yeah. Mm. That was good. But yeah, so that's my story on my first time with a guy. Um, thank you guys so much for, of course, listening and subscribing to my channel and watching me and loving me for my flaws and all. You know, I'm always raw, not flaw. And I just want y'all to know, just living your truth. Be content with yourself. Don't worry about 
others judging you. People are going to judge you regardless. You can have the most money in the world. You could be the kindest person in the world. People are going to judge you regardless. So living your truth and just, you know, just know that whatever happens in life is honestly supposed to happen. Like, so make sure you take the lesson and take heed from it and learn from it. You know, I have, so. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Make sure you guys head over to the Us Outsiders channel. Make sure you subscribe there. You already know what to do on my social platforms. Let me know. Share this video. Tag me. I love to repost or whatnot. Let me know how y'all feeling this blunt, baby. This is my first time. No, it's my, not my first time, but y'all already know, like, I feel like every time I get my head in, it's my first time. So, <laughs> so yeah, y'all. Okay, so I, am I missing something? Oh, yeah. Bye.